A strike of luck. Last month, a woman was hit by lightning in the middle of downtown Greenville. She survived and she's alive to tell her story to our Rashad Williams. You'll see it only on WIFF News 4. August 31st. It's truly a miracle that I'm still here, still alive. Holly Thompson was with her sister Bailey in downtown Greenville. We were going wedding dress shopping. I'm getting married in June. She is my maid of honor. And when the two left the bridal shop on South Main Street. There was no rain yet. It was just um, very dark clouds. The dark clouds revealed something they'll never forget. It was extremely loud noise, like nothing I'd ever heard before. That noise, thunder and lightning, a moment Holly says went by in the blink of an eye. The lightning actually struck the back of my neck, entered in the back of my neck, and then went down my spine and out my right heel um, on my foot. According to the CDC, the odds of being struck by lightning in a given year are less than one in a million. There's like ringing in my ears, um, but I was like, I'm fine. Like, I'm fine to drive. Like, I don't feel anything else. Holly says she didn't lose consciousness, but felt immediate pain in the back of her neck. She tried to drive home, but then her vision got blurry. My heart rate was through the roof. Um, I was just losing, like, feeling in my legs. I just felt at that moment that my body was just shutting down and I was like, we need to get to a hospital ASAP. Holly was able to pull over. Bailey took the wheel and got her sister to the hospital. There's people that die from lightning strikes, so it's pretty crazy that I'm still here and alive. Holly is now back home with their parents in Miami, recovering from a short stint of paralysis in both her arms and legs, working through body tremors, undergoing extensive physical therapy and relearning how to walk one step at a time. She's doing great. We're heading towards a chair. Any plans to play the lottery soon? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Maybe. In Greenville, Rashad Williams, WIFF News 4.